reputable, reliable results. That's what you get when you call Rick and the professionals at RCT Roofing. Quality service at fair prices. RCT gets the job done. Just like Nick Stone and the RCT Pro Stock. RCT Roofing, we've got you covered. Dodge A1 installers and Stone Motorsports. We do have our lap sponsors tonight as well as, ladies and gentlemen, next time by, we're going to go green flag racing. Wave to your favorite pro stock driver, ladies and gentlemen, as they work their way down the front straightaway, as we're going to give you some full fender power out here on the great race place oval here for tonight. The team Joey, Albany, Saratoga, Pace Truck going to work its way into the infield. Dan Older, Chucky Dumbluski at the front of this one. Clench green flag in the hand of Richie Peterson. Older going to fire it up at turn number three and four. The full fender firecracker is now underway. Racing up onto the south side of the speedway for the first time. It will be the 97 of Dan Older with the race lead as they make it down the back straightaway. Kim Duell already up into the number four spot there. Three wide back there for fifth as Older will come around to click off lap number one. But keep an eye on the battle between Speed, DePaulo, and Washburn as they work their way up into turn number one and two as Yellow going to come out on the speedway. Chasing Casey's front end is on the back straightaway. laps we'll get to the other 15 laps throughout the rest of the feature event as the clench green flag pack in the hand of Richie Peterson once again here as we're going to shuffle it back out 29 laps remaining here in this full fender firecracker event as part of the King of Earth series his green flag is back out on the speedway up into turn number one and two they go this time. It will be the 97 of Dan Older with the advantage down the back straightaway as cars get together up in turn number two. That's the 322 of Jay Casey. He will come to a stop up in the corner as Yellow going to come back out onto the speedway once again. Then truck repair. Lap number 20 from Valley Babe, it works. Lap number 21 from Dumbluski Racing. Lap 22 from Hoarding Motorsports. Lap 23 from Dumbluski Racing. Through 30 from Custom Keepsakes Photography. Those are our lap sponsors for tonight's full fender firecracker out here at the Albany Saratoga Speedway. And of course, another sponsor getting into it just like the last time, Saratoga Masonry adding $100 for the hard charger here for tonight's Full Fender Firecracker feature event for the Pro Stocks in the King of Dirt series here tonight. So two laps in the books and the winner going to go to Redline Graphics Victory Lane here tonight as race number three of this series comes in with Robbie Speed as your current point leader. He has a five point lead with one win, one top five and one qualifying heat win over Rob with one win and one top five. Walt Brownell sits fourth with one top five and one qualifying heat race win. He's 10 points behind speed and rounding out your top five of the point standings 11 points back is Dave Bissonette with 145 points. So a chance for a few drivers to catch back up here tonight as it's very close here in race number three as Older brings it off the corner. We'll go back to green flag racing. Up through turn number one and two they go. Dan Older will reassume control of this feature event down the back straightaway as they make their way through turn number three and four this time. Here's Dan Madigan going to step up on the top side, see if he's got anything for Dan Older. He'll have to deal with the seven of Chucky Dombluski working his way to the inside lane as well as he'll push in off the corner. Here comes the seven of Dombluski trying to power to the inside lane, but he's going to go side by side with Madigan once again as now Dan Madigan works his way up on the outside. They'll click off lap number four 
four. Meanwhile, car going pit side. That is the 8J of Jimmy Eaton. As he will get out of harm's way here with 26 laps left remaining. Front six going to break away from the field just a little bit. Down the back stretch as Dan Older continues to lead this one on the inside. Meanwhile, car around in turn number two. The 110 of Kevin, Kevin Jay on the inside lane. He's in there along with the 111 of Kevin Loomis. And of Ron Bietman as well as they both get together in turn number three as they are there for the caution. Yepman with a left front flat tire on the Lazaro's auto body entry. And Walt Brownell on the Saratoga Masonry entry going to go up on the hook. Casey going to go to the hot pit area. And he's going to turn it back around and rejoin the tail end. And the point of this one so far in this feature event. Clench green flag going to go back into the hand of Rich Peterson off a of turn number three and four as we go back to green flag racing here once again. Up through turn number one and two. Dan Older will have the advantage. Here's Dan Madigan working to the inside. He'll get back by Dombrowski down the back straightaway. Riding in third now, Chucky Dombrowski. As Dave DePaulo fishtails a little bit. Kim Dole working to the inside. That's right in front of Robbie Speed. He'll lose a couple of positions. And the benefactor from that one will be the 27 of Nick Stone, who's going to work his way up into the number four spot. Stone going to make his way past Kim Dole as he will sit in fourth. Dole working back on the outside, trying to get back by him. Stone will slide up the backing a little as Dan Holder comes down to pick up lap number six. Cars starting to fade a couple of positions as Robbie Speed and Kenny Martin get by. That is the 2-H of Cousin Luke Horning. And let's put it this way, this isn't the first time in the lap set, last seven days that his back bumper has been coming off of the 2-H machine. The 97 of Dan Holder continuing to run this one up through turn number one and two as he continues to be your race leader. He sits three car lanes behind him, but now that time, Holder going to pull away from the field a little bit as Jimmy Eaton works his way back out onto the racetrack as the top five breakaway in single file formation. Holder still your leader. Here's the 27 of Nick Stone. He'll work to the inside of Chucky Dombrowski as the bottom side starts to slicken up a little bit and take a little more rubber down the back straightaway. Here comes the 27 of Stone, working to the inside lane of Dombluski. Dombluski will battle back. Kim Duell right there as well as they make their way down the front stretch. Nine in the books. As they make their way up through turn number one and two once again, Kim Duell that time gets into the back bumper of the seven of Dombluski as Jimmy Eaton pulls it into the infield. We will be one third of the way through this feature event as now Dan Older will click off lap number 10. Dan Madigan sitting in the number two spot, but his time there may be numbered as here comes the 27 of Nick Stone. He clips the inside of the implement tire, almost goes up and over as I say that. Stone gonna keep it rolling, but he's gonna lose about 10 positions as he rejoins the field on the back stretch. Nick Stone flirted with disaster and he got burned that time through turn number one and two as he caught the implement tire with his left front tire and now Dan Older going to be smooth sailing along with Dan Madigan as this battle for the lead going to heat up once again. Madigan moving to the top side now. Dombrowski still sits third. Fourth is Kim Duell rounding out your top five. Here's Dave DePaulo but here's Robbie Speed now with a head of steam as he'll work his way up to the top side. He'll try to keep his spot against Kenny Martin now as DePaul sliding up into the middle that time. As Speed Racer trying to rim ride up on the top and see if he can get any more momentum off of the corner. Meanwhile, Kim Duell has caught the back bumper of the seven of Chucky Dombrowski as slower traffic going to come dead ahead of your leaders as Dan Older just about 10 car lengths away from the back end of the 110 of Devin Kamenjay through turn number three and four. 
Cam and Jay going to slip up the banking in front of your leaders. Dan Older will get by without issue off of the corner. Madigan still sits strong in second. Sitting in third is the seven of Dombrowski. Here's the 14 of Kim Duell still trying to push underneath them. Hard battle for the number five spot is DePaulo and Speed go at it as this time by Older will see the halfway point. 15 are in, 15 remain for the 97 of Dan Holder as he holds on to this one looking for that $750 paycheck. Up off a turn number two, he'll hold on to about a 10 car length advantage over the 24 of Dan Madigan. Madigan still trying to close in as the bottom starts to rubber up and slick it up a little bit more off the corner. That time Kim Duell with a great run to the inside of Chucky Dombluski as he still looks for third as they work their way up through one and two again. Here's a 14, a duel, trying to push his way to the inside. Robbie Speed has now cleared Dave DePaulo. He's up into spot number five. Here as we move towards the second half of this feature event, Older now going to have to take evasive action as he almost ran into the back bumper of the 111 of Kevin Loomis. He'll get by him no problem. Meanwhile, Walt Brownell, right in front of your leaders, just almost went off in the backing in turn number two. Older still riding the bottom side of this one as he'll continue to power it up towards the front. He'll continue to lead this one with just 12 laps remaining as the field deals through slower traffic. They're keeping it tight right on the bottom. That time Madigan slips up a little bit, and this may be where Dombrowski can strike if he can keep the car there. Meanwhile, Purple Thunder, Kim Duell right behind them, running in fourth. Scott Robbie Speed as now they start to slip slide a little bit off the corner, and that's the break speed needed. As the Mellonville Missile going to ride in, he'll take the number four spot away from Kim Duell as he keeps it on the bottom up off a of turn number two. Older with a half a straightaway advantage over Madigan. Going to put the two-thirds mark in the books this time as we'll see lap number 20 go up on the board as he crosses the flag stand right in front of him. Chucky Dombluski now going to make a bid for the number two spot right there as well. And now Robbie Speed is caught up to the back bumper of Dombluski that time. Dombluski pushes to the inside of the quarter panel as they race down the back straightaway. He'll make his move on the inside lane. Madigan going to slide down, but then he'll slide back up on the high part of that right back into the middle. That allows the 7 of Dombrowski to come in, and now speed right there as well. All this racing behind him is exactly what Dan Older wants to see as he opens up a little bit more of an advantage on the field as we come closer here with just eight laps remaining this time by. That time Madigan slides up to the high side. He'll have to get back low as Porter right in front of him. As now Dombrowski with a shot at him underneath as a car slows down the back straightaway. That is the 463 of Daniel Sanchez and that's going to free things up a bit at the front of the field as there's going to be some clean air for the top four to run with here with just eight laps remaining in this feature event. There have only been four winners on the tour. Nick Stone with two feature event victories a year ago. Jake Corbin picked up the third win a year ago and then Robbie Speed and Cousin Luke Horning to start off the 2016 season. Dan Older going to bring him off for turn number three and four. Just eight laps remaining. Green flag back out onto the speedway as this is going to be a wonderful eight lap shootout as they work their way up into turn number one and two. Kim Duell gets out of shape for just a split second, but DePaulo pushes him back into position as now he'll ride for the number five spot down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, top four shakeout single file. Here's Madigan working it back to the top side. He'll drag race for the runner up spot down the front stretch as Dombrowski going to take a shot at him up into turn number one and two. Chucky Dombrowski going to look to make his way up off of the corner as Dan Madigan holding strong into that number two spot. Madigan working it up on the top side. That time he develops a bit of a push. That may allow Dombluski to come back on the inside of the racetrack at the line. Madigan still having the runner up position, but Dombluski just sitting right there and not going away. And neither is Robbie Speed. And he's going to try to make this a three wide battle down the back stretch with just five laps to go. The 97 of Dan Older will bring it off off the corner this time. We'll see the wave from Rich Peterson as Chucky Dombluski has successfully moved into second, trying to fend off all comers behind him. Here's Bobby Speed diving to the inside. He'll look for the number two spot down the back straightaway. He'll get by Madigan for third and then try to slide up in front of the number seven machine and off the corner, Robbie Speed is pedaling as he looks for the number two spot. Speed going to work his way up into turn number one and two as he sits just four car lengths behind Dan Madigan. Down the back straightaway. Meanwhile, cars get together as Brandon Amy goes around. Jeff Washburn there. Dave Bissonette 
nowhere to go, and Rob Yetman with the same. As that brings out the caution with just four laps remaining, Pete Porter and Kevin Loomis also involved here with just four laps to go here in this full fender firecracker event. And to say that, Bissonette's got some damage. The right front on Bissonette's car turned completely to the right. A tough break for the Bulldog. Jeff Washburn with a lot of tin damage on the backside. And then rounding out your top ten is the double zero of Byron Westcott. As we have just four laps to go here in this King of Dirt Pro Stock feature event. French green flag going to come in the hand as they'll bring him off a turn number four. Dan Older will lead him down. Four laps to go here in this feature event as Older going to try to go wire to wire here in this one as they bring him off a turn number two. Older going to have the race lead. Dombrowski going to try to power past Madigan for third and Madigan going to go back up on the top side once again. They'll click off this time. Three laps to go as Dan Older now has the 24 of Robbie Speed inches off of his back bumper as they work their way up into turn number one and two. Dan Older has not come off the bottom for anything so far in this feature event. It's going to take a big run by Speed or a miscue to get by him. That time Older slides up a little bit. Here as we go to the two to go sign. Now Speed going to try to go to the outside as John Ruthier gets tagged coming down the front stretch. And he goes back around. And yellow is going to come out onto the speedway here with just two laps remaining as John Ruthier in the Gantwood Products car number 315 machine sits right in front as that brings out the caution here and will be a green white checkered situation. As the 97 of Dan Older looking to go wire to wire here in this 30 lap pro stock feature event. Robbie Speed sitting to the right of him looking to try to hold on and pick up his second feature event win on the King of Earth Series in 2016. Green flying is out on the speedway. Here we go. Up into turn number one and two. Here comes a 24 of Speed pushing to the outside. He may leave the door open. His car is good together. Up in turn number two. Jay Casey involved Rob Yetman as well. As the yellow comes back out onto the speedway once again. Field's going to double up down the back straightaway once again. Two laps still remaining as Robbie Speed and Dan Older are going to look to go side by side off a of turn number three and four. They'll bring it off of the corner. Dan Older going to bring him down. Green flag out on the speedway. Green white checkered shootout as they work their way up into turn number one and two. Here's the 97 of Dan Older pushing to the inside lane, trying to hold on to the race lead as they drag race down the back straightaway. They work their way into turn number three and four. Robbie Speed on the outside looking for the race lead. Here's Kenny Martin looking for second as they come to the white flag. One lap remaining. And that time Older may have shown his hand as he pushed to the outside, but contact between Speed and Martin will back Robbie Speed up for just a second. Meanwhile, final time down the back straight away. One last shot for Robbie Speed through turn number three and four. Checkered flag is going to be out at the line. It will be Dan Older picking up the win. Robbie Speed will finish in second, third will be Kenny Martin. Chucky Dombluski will come across the line fourth unofficially. And Nick Stone will round out your top five as Dan Older goes wire to wire to pick up the win. In this King of Dirt Full Fender Firecracker event. So that'll do it for our King of Dirt Pro Stock Series.
here at Albany Saratoga for the 2016 season with Dan Older going wire to wire to pick up the win. Sportsman coming out on the speedway next. We'll send it back over to Dan Martin. Thanks, Mike. So uh, our King of Dirt Pro Stock feature in the books, uh, it was a wild one. As they make their way back down into the pit area, we'll be watching for the sportsmen to start to make their way up onto the racetrack. Before we see the sportsmen make their way up onto the raceway, we want to give...